Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have this dramatic cool tone cut crease with a little bit of glitter for you guys. So if you want to know how to get this fun look, just keep on watching. Okay, so ignore the ugly messy bun and the ugly breakout that's currently on my face. But first, I just showed you guys that I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer to fill in my brows. Next, I'm taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion and applying that onto my lips to prep for shadow. Next, I'm going in with my Morphe 35K palette and taking these two dusty paint colors on a Sigma E40 brush, and I'm just going to be blending that into my crease as our transition shade. This is just going to help the color that we're going to use as our cut crease to blend out better. Going back into my Morphe 35K palette, I'm going to be picking up this grayish blue color on a Sigma EO5 eyeliner brush, and I'm just going to be using that to sketch out the shape of our cut crease. My eyes are slightly hooded, so I'm not going to go in the actual fold or crease of my eye because then you wouldn't be able to see the color at all, so I'm just going in a little bit above my crease. Then I'm going to be taking this really pretty lilac shade. This is from the Morphe 35B palette, and I'm just going to be taking that on a tiny lip brush to help blend that slate blue color upwards so that it gives a really nice blended effect. When you have a cut crease, you want the bottom of it to be harsh and you want everything from the bottom up to be nice and blended out. So I'm using that purple shade to do this. Then you'll see me go back in with the blue color, just going back and forth, blending everything out, making sure that it is nice and opaque and how I want it to look. Next, I'm just going in with a little bit of foundation on a concealer brush, and I'm going to be applying that all underneath that cut crease just to make sure that it is nice and cut and nice and defined as a cut crease should be. And then I'm going to just pat it out with my finger so that it is nice and ready for the next step, which will be adding the lid color. You guys will see that I am dipping back into that grayish blue color just to make sure that that crease is nice and dark the whole time. And then next I'm going to be picking up this really nice bright silver color. This is also from the Morphe 35K palette. And I'm just going to be applying that to my lid with a flat shader brush as well as extending it under the wing because later we will be applying some silver glitter to that area. Once again, I am going back and just darkening that crease a little bit, and then next I'm going to start to do my liquid liner. I'm just going to wing it out, but then I did realize that I added a shadow on the other eye that I did not do on this eye. So I'm just going into my Alice Through the Looking Glass palette and taking the color Lily. It's a really pretty white color that has a nice pink iridescence, and I'm just going to pat a little bit of that over the silver and then complete my wing as well as carve my wing out, of course. Next, I'm taking this NYX Crystal Liquid Liner, and this is in Crystal Silver, and I'm just going to be applying that mostly on that wing shape that we have going on on top of that silver, but then I'm going to slowly fade it inward so it's not going to go directly on the lid, but it's going to have a nice gradient towards the center of the lid.
Next, I'm just going in with my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation and I'm just going to dot this all over my face and then I will be blending it out with my Beauty Blender. Next, going in with my airspun powder, I'm just going to bake under my eyes as well as my chin a little bit and my nose and just a little bit on my forehead. And then I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe 35K palette and pick up the darker of the dusty pink shades. And I'm going to be applying that with a flat definer brush on my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go back into that crease color that we use for our cut crease and apply that towards the outer corner. I also did forget to mention that I went ahead and lined my eyes with some black liner and I just used those two eyeshadows to kind of smudge it out on the lower lash line so that it was nice and smoky. I went ahead and dusted off all that excess powder and then I'm going to go in with my Lights Camera Flashes Mascara by Tarte and I'm going to be applying that to my top and bottom lashes and I'm applying it to my top to bond my real lashes with my falsies. Here I'm just going back in with my liquid liner just to make sure that the lash band is covered and that you can't see any of the glue. Next I'm just going in with my Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops and I'm going to be applying that with a damp beauty blender onto all the high points of my face that I want highlighted such as my cheekbones, my chin, my nose, and a little bit on my forehead as well. Next, going into my BH Cosmetics 10 Color Professional Blush Palette, I'm picking up this warm bronzy shade, and I'm going to be using that to bronze and contour my face, and I'm using a Sigma brush. I don't remember the number, but I will link it down below for you guys. Next, I'm going to be applying this pink blush by NYX. This is in, I believe it's pronounced Bourgeois Pig. And I'm just going to be applying that onto my cheeks. Then going in with my Becca highlight, this is in Pearl. I'm going to be using a MAC 286 brush to apply this to all of the places that I applied the Sephora liquid highlight. I am also applying a little bit of Becca's Pearl into my inner corners to add some brightness to my eyes. After contouring my nose a little bit with the same bronzy shade that I used to bronze and contour the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip and this is in the shade Trap and I'm just going to be applying that and then after that the look is done. Alright guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up as well as subscribing down below. Also, let me know down in the comment section what other videos you would like to see from me and I'd be more than happy to do this for you, of course. But until then, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.